Yud is good. Yud is your boy Tom back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over and talking about each and every reward that did come out and get released in NBA 2K24. My team today, we'll talk about where you guys can get the cards from and if they are ultimately worth the grind. We're going to be talking about level 40 will, the ultimate reward SGA as well as E. Jillian, our first salary cap reward. Now, if you want to look at the liftoff players, guys, that is going to be in the in a separate video. So again, make sure to check that thing out. But just know that is going to be in a, in a separate video video on the channel so after you watch this one go watch our other one as we do dive in and get into this thing today now let's start it off guys at the bottom with Luka Doncic okay obviously a lot of these emeralds aren't going to be good okay like emerald Luka Doncic you're gonna get him for reaching level three on the level 40 grind 75 three ball not good speed not good ladder quickness zero badges he's a garbage man no if ands or buts about it emerald ad level six reward here 57 three ball Again, 65 speed, 68 ladder quickness, 16, I guess, base badges. You could get worse. Not very good, though, in my team. Rick Fox here is available in the token market. So if you get 10 tokens, you can get Rick Fox. And with Rick Fox, 6'7", 230 pounds, 84, 3 ball, decent defense, 76 speed, 86 ladder quickness. And badge-wise, he's not bad. I wish he had more total badges, guys, but I really don't mind Rick Fox in general. Now, again, I'm waiting to see all their releases, SIGs on 2K Database, but I'm guessing it's Rick Fox, man. How bad of a release can he truly have? Bernard King up next, level 10 reward, 6'7", only a 58 three ball. I mean, his speed's good. This card stinks. So, so far, the level rewards, Luka Doncic, AD, as well as Bernard King, they all stink, uh, all kind of stink. Jeff Hornacek, level 15 uh, reward here, 6'4", 85 three ball, can't dunk, decent ball handle, can't play defense. He's going to shoot the ball well for you, but outside of that, what does he really provide? What does he really give you on the court? I mean, not much. Only 6-4. Again, if you need somebody to shoot the ball, he should be just fine. Chris Morris, maybe the reward I'm personally most excited about. He is your My Team Unlimited reward, okay? 6-8, 210 pounds. Only a 79 base three ball, 80 driving dunk, 79 ball handle. Defensively, he's not great. This card stinks. Like, I was excited about this card, and he stinks. I mean, I, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. This card stinks. There's nothing he does on the court that I'm like, wow, this card is good. What what does he do on the court for you guys? He's mid. 79 three ball. He can't handle the ball. His defense is very mid, very mediocre. His speed and lateral quickness are very mid. I mean, he's 6'8", but this card stinks. I'm sorry. I was excited about Chris Morris. This card stinks. He might be honestly comparable to like Julius Randle. Like he is not good at all. And, and again, I wish I could sit up here in front of you guys and say the card was decent, but he's not. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I am not a fan of the card in general. Now, again, you guys can go do what you guys got to do, but I am not a fan of it. Now with Chris Morris, he does have the Luke Kennard base, but so does Isaiah Thomas. I mean, LeBron dribble style. I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit there and hype up the card. Raymond Felton up next. Now, here's, here's the deal with Raymond Felton. How do you get Raymond Felton? He is available. Big Raymond Felton through a co-op. So you get 50 wins in co-op, you'll get Raymond Felton. Now, Raymond's got the Jeremy Lamb base. He has pro dribble style. That's what to know about him. 83 three ball, 70 driving, 90 ball handle, good speed. Raymond Felton had speed back in the day. I don't know. I just remember Raymond Felton in his old, uh, when he got older. And I don't know if, he, I don't know if speed was the necessary uh, best thing he did. Badge-wise, looks elite, though. I mean, you're looking at 37 base badges, a lot of them at least on silver or gold. I don't mind Raymond Felton. It just comes down to this. Do I think he's going to be next level good? No, I'm sorry. I don't really see that out of Mr. Raymond Felton in my team. Eddie Johnson up next. If you're wondering how to get Eddie Johnson, he is your clutch time offline 50 win reward. 6-7. A 6'7 wingspan here, okay. 83 ball, 80 driving dunk, 83 boy. I know decent perimeter, not great interior, decent speed, decent lateral quickness. Badge wise is fine. Again, another reward that I'm just not that high on. He's fine, but there's nothing about this card that's like next level good. Jared Allen base, that's fine, I guess. Not great though. Normal dribble style. His hot spots are good, and that is something to really look at. Like his hot spots are good. But that doesn't make the card. Like, Eddie Johnson, I'm sorry, 
in my opinion, is mediocre. I'm not going to sit here and hype up the cards that aren't great. Phil Jackson up next. Phil Jackson is available in the token market, okay? So he is your token market 20 token reward for this season. Power forward center, 6'8", 69 three ball, 80 driving dunk, decent ball and a defensively really solid, decent speed, decent lateral quickness. I have no issues with this Phil Jackson card, and honestly, I think he's absolutely elite. The one thing about it is he does have the Al Horford base. I don't necessarily love that, but badge-wise, pretty solid. And for being a 20 token reward, he's not bad. Can shoot the ball decent, can handle it decent. Kind of just like a better Lamar Odom. Little undersized at 6'8", but I really do not mind Phil Jackson at all. I wish he had some better hot spots, but that's just kind of me at picking out some things. Cliff Robinson up next. This card, probably your best Ruby reward. 6'10", 225 pounds. 83 ball, 80 standing dunk, 85 driving dunks. Ball handle is not great. Look at the defense though. 88 perimeter, 90 interior, good rebounder, decent block. 79 speed 85 lateral quickness badge wise he has what 32 base badges a lot of those defensive badges as well as gold open looks that's a big time badge a lot of silver badges interceptor anchor and some good bronze badges now when i look at the badges that he can get can't get limitless but can get a lot of those good badges now he does have the alperin shangun release basic dribble style so i mean his sigs aren't great i'm gonna be honest with you but he's 610 at the power forward position and i think the card is going to be absolutely elite now how do you get cliff robinson here's your clutch time online 50 win reward that is probably the best reward card that i've talked about so far mike conley up next here's the deal with mike conley i wish i could sit here and gas mike conley he is your triple threat offline reward I'm going to say it like this. His release is horrible. So even if Mike Conley's stats and badges are fantastic, his release is not great. He has AI dribble style. His stats badges are really solid. But I'm telling you guys right now, his release is not good. Badge wise, of course, he comes with 40 base badges. But his release, I'm telling you guys, is just not great. I'm not super high on Mike Conley. If you want to use him, do what you got to do if you get him naturally. But just not super high on the card bob love up next he is your triple threat online 50 win reward he can play the small forward position bob love might be doing something for y'all okay 6'8 6 11 wingspan 72 base three ball 80 standing dunk driving dunk can of the ball defensively he's absolutely elite speed maybe would like to see a little bit higher other than that though i really do like his defense 16 base gold badges eight on silver three on bronze has basically all of those defensive badges you can ask for silver clamps interceptor my whole thing with bob love is this what does he really give you on the court amari stoudemire base is fine normal leaner is fine and b dribble style is just troll so far guys i'm high on cliff robinson but the rest of these rewards i just don't really love and, and again maybe i'm just seeing things differently than you guys but i'm just not that high on a lot of these cards kevin McHale up next you do get him for reaching level 25 as far as the level 40 grind 610 200 and uh 210 pounds can't shoot interior defense is good good rebounder this card stinks man and here's the deal he's got half anchor and post lockdown so can he go out there and compete against Shaq? sure i guess but he's not good in my team. I'm sorry, Kevin McHale. You're not doing nothing for me on the basketball court. Jerome Kersey up next year, 40 token rewards. So last season, we saw a very troll Tom Gugliotta as our level or as our 40 token reward. Jerome Kersey here is 6'7", small forward, power forward, power forward, small forward. Only a 64 three ball, good dunking. Defensively, he's fine, not great. I mean, this card, I don't see it with him. I'm sorry. He's basically another Tom Gugliota. Not a very good card at that small forward position. No hot spots from three. Dario Saric base, basic dribble style, not good. Then your level 40 card, Wilt Chamberlain. So, so far, I've just basically talked about how all these cards have not been good. Wilt Chamberlain's our first card that I'm like, is going to be absolutely elite. 7-1, 275 pounds, 90 standing dunk, driving dunk. Obviously, he can't shoot, okay? 39 three ball. But it's not great. But a 93 block, 90 interior, great steal, great perimeter. Rebounding wise, couldn't be better. 89 speed, 84 ladder quickness, good vertical strength, stamina as well. Now, here's the deal with Wilt. Total bad, you're looking at total badge count, 35, okay? 35 total badges. Now, I've applied badges to my Shaq, okay? I've a, applied badges to my Shaq, and he still only has 32. And and that, and that is with the, the extra five badges I've added to him. So the first question people are going to ask is, Ty, who's better, Will or Shaq? Will is 110% better than Shaq. It's not, it, it's close. Okay, I can't say it's not close, 
but Wilt is 100% better. What badges does he have? Hoff, Masher, Rise Up, Anchor, Pokestick, Box Out Beast, Rebound Chaser, Brick Wall, Big Driver, and Bulldozer. 14 on gold, 10 on silver with two bronze badges. Now, the big thing here with Wilt is a lot of those silver and bronzes you cannot upgrade. Badges, I'd like to give him any defensive badges. So, Pig Dodger, Off Ball, Pest, Ankle Braces, Slippery Off Ball. Those are the main badges I'm looking for, Wilt Chamberlain. The card is absolutely fantastic. And I'm not going to lie, if you're complaining about Wilt as a level 40 card, just take your complaints somewhere else please i'm begging you that is the one thing I, I would i would encourage you guys to do is if you are complaining about him take your complaints somewhere else essential reward christian leitner here 6 11 235 pounds 72 three ball i mean decent interior he stinks if you get him off the ascension congrats but he stinks in my team your ultimate reward brandon roy of last season is sga gotta basically get all of eddie johnson uh chris morris Wilt, Cliff Robinson, Mike Conley, Bob Love, uh, you know, Raymond Felton. You got to get all the token cards too. You got to get basically everybody for SGA. 83 three ball, 75 driving, 93 ball handle defensively. Doesn't look great. 83 perimeter is not horrible though. 86 speed, speed ball acceleration as was at 84 lateral quickness. Now the big thing for me in SGA is he is 6'6", and he comes base with 43 badges. I like that, okay? Look at the badges here. Hoff, Acrobat, Fearless, Finisher, Pro Touch, Slithery, Midi Magician, Dimer, that's a big badge, New York Threader, Two-Step, and Free Points. 24 gold badges, including a lot of those playmaking badges there. Seven on his silver with the three bronze badges. Question for SGA, okay? Can he get every badge? Yes, he can get every single badge in the game, which is super important. Apply those defensive badges, give him limitless range. He is going to be quite a bit better. Is he going to be the best point guard in the game? Well, he is right now. When people get him, is he going to be the best point guard in the game? I mean, that might be a different story, but no doubt about it, guys. SGA is absolutely elite. Now, E. Jillian up next, 7 feet tall, 250 pounds, 83 ball, 80 standing neck, 75 driving neck, 82 block, decent rebounding stats. Strength is a little low. I don't love that. Speed's decent. The 27 lateral quickness is just pretty troll in my opinion. Badge-wise, he's not bad though. If you are no money spent and really looking for a budget big, E. Jillian really is not that bad, okay? I'm just, I'm just being honest with you guys. If you need a budget big, this card can definitely play because he's going to shoot well. Brazakis base, nobody else has that yet in my team. But just remember, he's seven feet tall. That alone, I will at least uh, respect and give him credit for. Now, I don't know exactly in, in the menus where uh, Terry is at, but here's the deal for, for Terry. We can talk about his stats. Terry's got an 85 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 84 speed ball, 78 ball, and 84 speed. Really solid defensively. The thing for Terry is base badges, he comes with 35. Release-wise, not great though. If they want people to grind out for Terry, who's a small forward, they're gonna have to update him. They just have to, because Terry's not good in my team. Now, the last couple of cards we have to talk about are the collector level rewards in Gordon Hayward and Tiny Archie both here. Obviously, I personally never recommend grinding collector level just because it is going to be really expensive. Tiny Archibald, 6'1", 150 pounds, can't shoot, can't dunk. He is really fast, but does he fit what you want in my team? No. Badge-wise, absolutely incredible. I'm telling you guys this right now. All of this is fine with Tiny, Tiny Archibald, but remember, he can't shoot, he can't dunk, and he is super small. I just am not in love with the card. And for Gordon Hayward, 6'7", 226 pounds, an 89 three ball, good driving, a good ball, and a really solid defensively. I like Gordon Hayward in my team, badge-wise outstanding as well. I mean, this might be one of the better cards I've ever sat up here and talked about. He is that good in my team. What has he got? I mean, base badge-wise, you're looking at 46, including a lot of those shooting badges as well. If you look at upgradable badges for Gordon Hayward, I mean, not most of them can't be upgraded, but some of them can. Gordon Hayward is absolutely elite. So Tiny Archibald, not great. Gordon Hayward can play shooting guard with these stats, these badges. He might be the best shooting guard in the entire game. He is that good in my team. The card, absolutely elite. That's going to wrap it up for our new rewards in NBA 2K24, my team for season two. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're doing it. As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.